What's up, nerdlings? What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for toys? Random toys. Hey guys, I'm Jazz of Nerdy Blazing Cosplays, and you're watching Do You Nerd? Yes, we have some random toys this time to add to the toy room. You've got a very impressive Marvel Legends collection. Yes. Uh, plus Star Trek and Star Wars figures, of course, yes. some horror figures. So you do have themes, but sometimes you like to just if grab I, something yeah. that looks cool. Basically, if I think it looks cool, I get it. Or if it's from like a movie or a TV show I like, then I will pick it up. Are you doing it? Are you collecting what you love right now? You should do it. You should definitely do it. Sometimes I'm actually surprised at the movies, especially, that have figures. Because a TV show, it's like, oh, okay, you know, maybe it went on for like a couple of seasons. Yeah. Mm, sure. But a movie, sometimes it can be a one-off, so it's like, that thing got a toy? Yeah. Really? Or several toys sometimes. <laughs> a whole lot. Yeah. All right then. <laughs> that seems pretty senseless, but... Whatever. Well, what do you happen to have for us today? Well, speaking of a movie that we had no idea they made toys of, is Sleepy Hollow. Yeah. Now, first of all, I had a lot of fun with this movie. This feels like a, a very good time in Tim Burton's career. You know, it was a very good classic yes. Burton. Classic, classic movie. Burton. Yes. Uh, and you know, obviously, the perfect storyline for someone like Tim Burton. Not only was it a fun movie, the fact that there's a toy line for yep. it, because this isn't even the only toy. Nope. nope. It's astounding. I never would have guessed that they would make toys out of this. Yep. You know, they have the Headless Horseman, which is the one I picked up here. Then there's the Deluxe Horse box set, so it's a Headless Horseman on his horse. The Crone, and then Ichabod Crane, which I actually did already have Ichabod Crane. <laughs> but I didn't realize what he was from or that he was from a toy line. I happened to just find him at Vintage Stock in a bag. And so, and they didn't even know what he was. They just said action figure. <laughs> but I recognized Johnny Depp, so I was like, "That's from that's from Sleepy Hollow. That is so cool." I don't know if he came with any accessories. I was surprised when I saw him in the bag that he had his gun. But then I learned it's literally a, molded to his hand, so he can't lose oh, the gun. Oh, okay. On the picture of all the toy lines, it's a different figure than what this figure actually is. He's got his hand up, and then a like almost thinking gesture very and then this one his hands are straight down and his arms are straight down so they're not even bent do you think he could have had interchangeable hands or does the figure not seem to it does not it seat? looks like there's a seam in his coat but they do not move so i'm very curious i need to do some more research but let's check this guy out check it out Heads will roll. <laughs> His head came Our toys' heads are falling off. <laughs> After some technical difficulties, he's free. He has some really, really cool detail to him. He's very stiff. He's been in there a long time. Those Listen to him. Joints. <laughs> That just sounds like me in the morning. He has some interesting articulation here where his arms just move up and down, but then his forearm goes side to side on both sides. So that's kind of an interesting, that's different. Usually it's an elbow joint. Nothing in the wrist? Nope, nothing in the wrists are, are solid and he kind of kicks his legs a little bit. They don't move at the hip joint, but it's not really a knee that's above the knee. <laughs> yeah, that is a weird position for that. And the head doesn't really move because it doesn't sit in there all that well. No, basically you kind of lod nudge it underneath his collar to make it stay on. Oh, oh, we missed one. He can do the Elvis. His little gauntlets have a, a nice insignia on both sides. And his chest plate armor Look at how intricate this is. I mean, this is a fantastic Tiny detail mold. Work. Yeah, really is. 
going down the side of his boots. He's got the 100 buckles. <laughs> so if you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> now undo the top six buttons of your 100 button shoes. Ooh, spurs. There's a little bit of give to those, but I will say those are already making me kind of nervous. Yeah. And that cape is that fantastic, very mobile vinyl. But now you can't squeeze it into a certain position, but it does have that movement. And I always like that. Look at the detail on the cape. It really looks old and dirty and tattered and just ew. Ow. And the skull. Wow. First of all, I mean, he he could uh, totally cosplay as Ghost Rider. Just saying. If he needs a Halloween costume <laughs> and doesn't want to be the headless horseman, well, um, team time in a row. But he also has those sharpened teeth, which is what the character had in the movie, mm -hmm. which is really cool to see. And when you pop that head off, well, yeah, he's got all the little blood and bits that you would expect to see from a severed head. Now when you move over to the Christopher Walken head, detail on it again looks exactly like him. You've got the nice teeth. It's hard to decide which head you want on the on them. Oh I agree. Yeah that head looks really great. I mean let's face it, Christopher Walken has a very distinct look. So the fact that they managed to capture that that's incredible. And then the two accessories he comes with is his wonderful axe that he uses to chop people's heads off. <laughs> hey, Kratos could borrow this sometime. <laughs> and then two severed heads for good measure. Well, you know, let's face it, two heads are better than one. Hell. But according to the instructions, the heads fit in the left hand and the axe fits in the right hand. But I have no idea how it does that because the axe does not come apart and his hand is molded into a circle. So there is no way of like opening up his fist to get the ax in there. The handle is just too big. That's what she said. <laughs> I mean, without breaking it. Might have to take like a small like X-Acto knife to it and kind of open it up a little. Mm, that's if you want to do any yeah. kind of modification to the toy. Well, aside from the fact that the ax has a few issues that we may have to look into a little further, it is a very cool looking figure. The interchangeable heads are neat. The attention to detail is awesome. Very spectacular. And as fans of the Sleepy Hollow movie, I think this is a pretty good addition to your collection. I do too. Oh! <laughs> All right, shall we see the next toy in line? Mm -hmm. Well, I have a very special figure because you got this one for me. It was. This was a gift I got for you. I sure did. We enjoy each other's company. When we were at Mo Game Con and way back in 2019, before when, the dark time. When you could still go somewhere. The day following Mo Game Con, we happened to find a toy convention. And that was when I discovered there was a line of Planet Terror toys. Now, the ones that we saw were the marley shelton as dakota i don't think we saw the quentin tarantino one because no i would have gotten that one. yeah but uh, i wasn't really interested in marley but i noticed that there was a cherry darling figure and that was the one that i really wanted and you were all too happy to <laughs> i oblige. was i immediately got online when we got home and started looking for it whoa Did you smell like a beach toy Yep. Beach balls. I can see up her skirt. She's got painted on underwear. Shake a leg. Do, 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 do. Well, there she is. First and foremost, she looks really good. There's a lot of really good detail to her. Starting from the bottom, that gun for her leg is incredible. On the back side, you can see a knife hidden on it. The attention to detail on the gun is really, really cool. Up to, you know, the part where her leg is severed, her mini skirt, which uh, I believe that you pointed out. You can see up her skirt. She's got painted on underwear. <laughs> <laughs> she has kind of a pleather top almost with like a mesh center and even a little necklace on now this is the part that's a little iffy 
I'm sorry, but to me, that face, that's not Rose McGowan. I don't know who that is, but that does not look like Rose McGowan to me. No. Maybe if you squint from the side, it kind of looks like Rose. This is also a statue. Now it looks like you might be able to interchange that leg for yeah. her regular leg instead of the gun, but where's the fun in that? Beyond that though, there is no movement. Uh, the head kind of twists, but is that supposed to be movement or <laughs> is it just <laughs> that's how they made the figure? Nothing in the arms, nothing in the waist, legs, knees, feet, no movement. So she's just a statue, but they were wise and gave her a stand, which is great because I'm keeping the gun leg on her and I don't think she would have stood up by herself <laughs> without Probably that Probably not, but she does have cool boots on though. I'll give her that. Here, you can hold your leg. Here you go. There you go. Woo! <laughs> Woo! All in all, is face aside, are you pleased with the figure? I am, because it's it's just a really cool display piece. And for something like Grindhouse, Planet mm -hmm. Terror, that you wouldn't expect to have any kind of action figure, statue toy, anything... The fact that there is something like that, it's very eye-catching, and it's a good conversation starter. Yeah. If someone's familiar with the movie and they see this, and they're like, whoa, wait, is that from Planet Terror? Is that Cherry Darling from Grindhouse? You're like, oh, yeah. Like, okay, first of all, never knew they made that. Second of all, how much fun was that movie? <laughs> and the funny thing is, looking at her from the side, it actually really does look like Rose McGowan from the side. So I don't know what happened from the front. So maybe they... We're just going off of like a profile mold. And then as they got around to the front, they're like, uh, uh, I panicked. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> well, it looks like <laughs> your headless horseman has some pretty good company now. Yeah, he does. Here, you want a Christopher Walken? Hey, you've got the gun for a leg. But I've got the need for more cowbell. I gotta have more cowbell. All right, we got one more action figure for you. And I will tell you right now, I have no idea what this is. <laughs> <laughs> this well, it's not horror related. It is not horror related. It is game related. I honestly just saw the figure and liked the way she looked, so I bought her. I have no idea what she is or where she's from. I know she's from a Hero Clicks game. That's about it. So you have Liotta from Shadowrun. Shadowrun is a tabletop game. I actually know it a little better from a series of video games, but then this is a hero clicks figure. So apparently Shadow Rod's all over the place. Well, that uh, cape makes me think somebody shops at Hobbits R Us. Yes, she's a little short like a hobbit too. <laughs> That's how we roll in the Shire. She's kind of interesting because it's like with the, the cloak and the hair and everything, very hobbit old world but then her clothes look very modern she's got just like a tank top on and even though there's you know magic symbols on her pants they just look like regular pants with a belt she's got some neat detail on her otherwise she's got a bunch of bracelets on both wrists and the thing that i liked about her was she just looked really neat like with the elf ears and the dark lipstick and the dark painted nails and everything and then she's got her satchel is loose on her so that's kind of neat it's not you know, hard plastic to her. As far as articulation goes, she can uh, shake that head no, and her arms fully move up and down, but not at the elbows. Uh, the wrists, it looks like they actually I was going to say they should spin. move because she comes with extra hands. Oh, that's cool. No movement in the waist, no movement in the hips, knees, or feet. So she's more for posing, clearly. Mm hmm And she does come with this base that I do not play hero click, so I do not know what it does. Now, something kind of neat about the base is actually it twists and opens up, and there's some information about the collection of dice. Which it does come with. And it tells what all of them do. I feel like this could also be used as a dice tray, the way that it's lifted yeah, up Yeah, like I that. do feel like... So that's yeah. kind of cool. And... 
the fact that there might be just enough room, maybe you could probably fit some of these smaller accessories mm -hmm. in there. She comes with two extra hands that have pegs in them. So that way, I guess that way she can hold this uh, wand thing. Sonic screwdriver. It does kind of look like a sonic screwdriver. Who has a sonic screwdriver? I do. She comes with, it looks like a magic hand that looks like it's turning clear to use whatever this dragon it's so bad that we know nothing about i know i feel really bad it. but she just she looked cool but it's like it's like a bubble dragon i mean a look, bubble dragon. look at it it's like a bubble dragon and then she comes with a medallion that's you know actually on a necklace string so i guess she could wear it if she wanted to do things like that come into play on the hero clicks mm -hmm. game because maybe that's why the medallion can be removed or Maybe it's just for fun. And it's like, here. The other thing she came with is this long strip of, again, I have no idea. And a, a camera stand, I'm guessing. A tripod. I don't know. We're so sorry. I guys. know. I really feel bad. But she was just cool. And I thought I would show her off to you guys. But I, I don't know anything about it. Hi. <laughs> She's friendly, Lee. The nice thing is stuff like this can get you into things because that's honestly how I ever got into Spider-Gwen and she's one of my favorite characters. I knew nothing about her, but I got a figure and then I decided to look into it and look her up some more. So, you know, it's the same thing. I will probably look this up and look into it and see if it's something I'm interested in. Look and what I found. Oh, lovely. You found a head. It's a head. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Yes, he is. I guess something I could do with this leg is uh, make a lamp and put it out at Christmas time. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Yeah, but what is that? It's, it's, a, it's a major award. A major award? Well, nerdlings, I hope that you enjoyed our random toy unboxing. Let us know in the comments down below if you're a Sleepy Hollow fan or a Planet Terror fan or if you're a Shadowrun fan and you were doing nothing but cringing listening to I'm us really talk about sorry. it because we don't know anything about Shadowrun. <laughs> <laughs> Please let us know what you think of any of these toys. Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Don't forget to uh, kick <laughs> <laughs> that uh, subscribe button. And the notification bell. You can just throw your bubble dragons at that. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to TeePublic because we have merchandise over there that we actually know what the merchandise is on that one. And hit us up on the Retro Refresh because we also know what we're talking about over there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. <laughs> and if we like it. We nerd it even if we Don't just know like it. it. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. See you, nerdlings. Oh. Sweeney Todd down. <laughs> Can I have my head back, please? <gasps> oh! T -t -t Toys! <laughs> He's gotta go potty. <laughs> it's like, how does that fit? It's, it's molded together. <laughs> oh, that's great.